there's one season in Florida that scares almost all of my clients. That's hurricane season. But don't be scared. It is very manageable. If you plan and are prepared, you will always be safe. And in this video, I want to share the top five things you would need to know. Number one, it's easy to get prepared. Florida's hurricane season is from June 1 to November 30th every year. This is the time frame that represents the most risk for a tropical storm or hurricane to impact the state. Although it can seem scary, there are many things you can do to protect yourself and your property way before the season even starts. The best way to think about this season is knowing you will have things to prepare around the house, just like you would before every cold and snowy winter. At some point, you know it will snow, but you will be prepared. Think of preparing for hurricane season with a similar approach. You will have a list of things to prepare for you and your family to be ready. For example, a simple Amazon order to order battery powered fans, flashlights, candles, first aid kit, battery powered radio, etc. It's that kind of stuff. Number two, you can protect your house and your property. As a real estate professional, I want to share the most important aspect of preparing your home for the threat of a hurricane. Your windows! Your windows and doors are the most vulnerable areas of your home during a heavy storm or a hurricane. When buying a property in Florida, there are three primary types of hurricane protection that you will be considering. One, hurricane panels. You can tell when a home has these as you'll notice a set of small screw holes perfectly spaced along the exterior of the windows and doors. These holes are used to hold a set of overlapping aluminum panels that are placed in front of your windows and doors. They are held firmly in place by bolts with wing nuts, so they are time consuming and kind of a pain to install, especially when it's really hot out. But they are well worth the effort. If you are not in town, you can simply hire a handyman for about $1,500 or so to put them up and take them down. That's not really that bad at all. Two, hurricane shutters. These are sometimes called accordion shutters and are super easy. And you can think of these like retractable metal doors that are always ready just outside your window and door frames. They are super simple. All you need to do is pull the shutters closed like a door, twist the handle and lock them into place. Three, hurricane rated impact glass. Hurricane glass is next level and by far the easiest because they typically withhold up to 155 mile per hour winds and there is no preparation needed. You don't have anything to do beyond moving things like your outdoor furniture inside. Your home stays protected and you get light throughout any potential storm, which is actually really nice if you do stay in Florida during any activity. Next, you will have time before it arrives. Unlike snowstorms, hurricanes don't just appear overnight and surprise us the next day with two feet of snow. Unfortunately for my kids, we don't have any snow days. These meteorologists are so good with modern technology. They can sometimes provide up to two weeks notice on any disturbances they see that might indicate any hurricane developments. Throughout the season, they provide updates on everything that might indicate even the slightest possibility of creating a storm. And everyone you connect with will be talking about the weather to see if there's any chance of one developing. This is very helpful so you never really feel truly caught off guard. Number four, the media will always make it appear worse. One thing you'll notice living or staying in Florida for an extended time is that the media outlets will always make the weather look way worse than it really is. Do you remember this weather report? You can see he's a little over exaggerating the power while these nice local fellows are casually walking right behind him. <laughs> this is unfortunately what a lot of the coverage looks like when smaller storms or weather hits our area. Don't get me wrong, these storms can be very powerful and serious and you need to prepare. But we have seen a lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts have highly exaggerated. Just know it comes with the territory. And lastly, number five, your safety is most important. 
like I said earlier, you will have time to prepare for the season and usually also several days before any actual major weather reaches the area. So this is exactly a great time to consider just leaving. You could book a flight and fly back home or just jump in your car and drive north out of state just for a few days until it blows over. This is quite common and a lot of people do this just to avoid the possible discomfort of losing power and not having air conditioning and that could be unpleasant. So if you aren't feeling safe and would just prefer to be away from the potential of a storm, you can simply leave. This takes all of the stress out of making sure you and your family are safe and can be a great option. I hope this video helps you understand more about hurricane season and why you really don't have to be scared. I encourage you to learn more, be prepared, and always do what's best for you and your family. As your real estate agent, I promise to guide you in making the best choice in a property relative to being prepared for a hurricane. And whether you are here or not during a potential storm, I'm also happy to help you find the right help you need. If you have more questions, please leave a comment below and I'll personally respond. If you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time I launch a new video. Make it a great day, and I look forward to seeing you down here soon. Yes, because they typically withhold up to 155 mi miles per hour MPH. We have seen a lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts have highly traumatized. Just know when it comes with this. You dramatize. Drama. It's a drama. You're right. But we have seen a lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts had a lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts have highly dramatized. Trauma. 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 Okay. A lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts have been dra tra traumatized. But we have seen a lot of just rainy and windy days that the weather broadcasts have highly exaggerated.